In this segment, we're going to talk about the simplest machine learning models that we're going to see in this course, which are linear binary classifiers. So uh, this, these, these may be something that you've come across in a previous course. So uh, you know, consider this a way to kind of establish notation for this and just to make sure uh, we're all on the same page. So what a classifier is roughly going to do is it's going to take as input um, a point x in r to the d. Uh, this means a, some sort of uh, numeric data in a d-dimensional real valued feature space. Uh, and we are going to also use the notation f of x extensively in this course, where f is what we call a feature extractor. All right, and so the reason we think about this way, it, we think about it this way, is that x in a lot of our problems is going to be a string. It's not going to be a numeric valued thing. And then uh, f of x is going to be the set of features uh, in the d-dimensional space. So um, we might move back and forth between these two different notations at various points throughout the course. Um, but generally, there does need to be some process of mapping from, uh, again, a, a string input, which most natural language is, into some sort of numeric representation that can be used in machine learning. All right, and then each point has a label y. And in binary classification, there's only going to be two possibilities. Uh, and we are going to refer to these as minus 1 and plus 1, or negative and positive class. So. Roughly, the way we can think about this is that we've got a set of points. Uh, this is going to be a two-dimensional feature space. And we're going to draw some pluses up here. And we're going to draw some minuses down here. Uh, and so each of these, again, represents one of these x's. And then whether it's plus or minus represents the label. All right, and then uh, we're going to represent a classifier as a weight vector w. Um, and you might see theta in some places, um, such as you know texts or uh, academic papers. Um, we're going to try to stick with w in this course, but uh, again, these, these mean the same thing. And so the way that this weight vector leads to a classification decision is the following. Um, we compute the dot product, or uh, the kind of vector transpose here, of the weights and the features associated with the point. And then we ask if that's greater than 0. And Essentially, the way we can think about this is that uh, there's the weight vector points in some direction in this feature space. And then we've got this decision boundary that's perpendicular to the direction that w is pointing. So the way to think about this is any point on uh, the top right side of this decision boundary is going to be classified as positive, because the dot product with w is going to be positive. Any point uh, on the other side of the boundary is going to be negative. Um, and and you know, we're not going to worry too much about what happens if you exactly land on the boundary. You need to break ties somehow. All right, so that's the basics of uh, the kind of formulation of linear binary classification. Um, one thing I will note is that uh, we often see uh, in kind of other settings here, we see uh, a, a bias term b. And we are going to, we are going to not use that. Um, and the reason is because we can just take f of x. Um, which, you know, let's say the features for a particular point are something like this. And we transform this into 
uh, an f of x that has a 1 on the end of it. Um, so by adding a 1 to the end, we have basically folded this bias term into, uh, you know, into the actual feature vector. And so that's what's going to allow us to stick with this representation of a classifier going forward, and we're not going to have to juggle these bias terms. So this is the, this is the kind of basic setup of binary classification. Um, going forward over the next few segments, we're going to talk about uh, the perceptron and logistic regression, which are two different ways of thinking about learning these weights um, that we're going to see are functionally quite similar. Um, so that's it for this segment.